We appreciate you all being here at the Voice of College Football on our Iowa channel. Of course, you are well aware that Steve Merrill stops by here at the Voice of College Football each and every week. You can catch Steve's complete work at wagertalk.com. NFL just open, of course, on Thursday. College football galore and the Major League Baseball playoffs are coming. So check out Steve's complete work. But we get him for this one segment each and every week. We've got a big battle between Iowa and Iowa State. Steve, this is always a big deal in the state of Iowa as a rivalry that's got to be played, Cyhawk played Seahawk rivalry each and every year. But now with the 12-team extended playoff, uh, there's some projection that maybe Iowa gets into the mix. Iowa State, of course, could be a two-seed out of the Big 12. So maybe on the national scale, the biggest game we've seen between these two with the Hawkeyes a home favorite but just of three points. Yeah, this is a winner enter the top 25, loser leave town matchup. And the reason I say that, because right now Iowa is number 21 in the national polls, but don't look now, but Iowa State is 29th. If you look at the additional votes, they're getting the fourth most additional votes this week. So if Iowa State pulls the upset here, they will be top 25 and it'll probably bump the Hawkeyes. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Uh, several reasons why I like the Iowa Hawkeyes in this game. First of all, is the line value. I run 10,000 game simulation every week for every game on the board. My projected margin on average has Iowa Hawkeyes winning this game by over seven and a half points. Uh, the line is currently minus three. Very key number. In fact, nine to 10% of the time in college and pro football, a favorite's going to win by exactly three points. And when the over under is as low as it is in this game, 35, that makes every point even more valuable, right? right? Because there's less points being scored, less you know variance in the game itself. Um, so getting a team I think that should be favored by over seven, seven and a half points as a three-point home favorite is appealing to me. I also like the matchup here. We talked about Iowa a lot last year. We talk about them every week here on the channel. As you know, Mark, they were a great defensive team and a horrendously bad offensive team last year. They're going to be a great defensive team again this year. They're probably the best defense of the country. In fact, they might have been the best defense last year, and they have the second most experienced defensive unit entering this season in the entire nation. So they're going to be lights out. We saw that last week with an impressive 40 to nothing shutout of Illinois State as just a 21-point favorite. And don't, don't look now. The game went over the total. It was 36 and a half. It landed on 40 despite the shutout. And that's because the Iowa offense showed up over 240 yards rushing and passing a very balanced attack. And to put this in perspective, their final two games last year, they did not score a single point in either one of those final two games against Michigan or against Tennessee in the bowl game. So once again, this does appear to be an improved Iowa defense offense this year. I don't want to read too much into playing Illinois State, but Illinois State is a playoff caliber FCS team. They're better than a lot of Division I FBS teams. I think this Iowa defense is fantastic, and I think the offense, although it's early, could be vastly improved this year. Iowa Hawkeyes, a play on team, and I think we get some value with them at minus three this Saturday. Folks, the segment you get here on the Iowa channel with Steve, we do this with all the teams across all the major matchups. So check out the other team channels. And again, it's wagertalk.com with Steve for the NFL and Major League Baseball this time of year as well. Steve's under the radar selection hit in week one. That was no big surprise to me because he's 22 and five against the spread. I said 22 and five against the spread the last three seasons in his under the radar selection exclusive right here at the Voice of College Football. College football is even more exciting with some action on the line. And the games are even better when you're cashing in. And the Voice of College Football is the place to be to get the greatest value. Let's start with my picks. 75% against the money line, 58% against the spread. I've got a 40-year track record. In fact, in 2023, at $100 played per game, you would have netted over $9,300. And guess what? I'm just the warm-up act. Steve Merrill, our ace in the hole, show stopper from Wager Talk. Six years with the voice of college football, over 30 years in the industry. Steve gives us analysis on all the big games, but you can't miss Steve's weekly under-the-radar pick, which went 21-5 and five against the spread the last two seasons. I repeat, 21-5 and five against the spread. You also get picks from some of our top analysts here at the Voice of College Football, including Steve Dace and Matt Zemick. Become a YouTube channel member or Patreon member for just $99 per month. Go to the main channel on YouTube, click join, and select the betting tier. Do the same thing on Patreon. Make 2024 a winner now. 